What up again guys, this is Chris with BenoBaseballCards.com uh, I wanted to show you guys this last rack pack here, I already did this to the other three rack packs that I had I took a pair of scissors here, this is pretty much the smartest way, I know you guys have seen me struggle with trying to open these things up before but if you take a pair of scissors and cut it above the middle seam there that's been melted I guess I really could have focused that before I did this, huh? And I know the, the lighting should be better now again. It should be at least a little bit brighter. But you'll see how I, this, this is now open at the bottom side where I can just slide these out. No fighting with the seam on the back of them. And then I just cut that middle piece out where the seam was glued. And then this side is also open. Slide it right out of there. No problems, no bending cards, no none of that crap. Now, as you guys know with rack packs, uh, at least it's common in many cases with Topps style rack packs or Topps brand rack packs, they have uh, three packs and a pack of purple prospect cards. And it appears that there's three and it looks like they have a blank white one in the back too, which is the alarm card to keep people from reading the name off the back player. Reading the name off the back of the card of the player on the back. So we'll go ahead and take all of these things out of their plastic now that I cut them all up. You'll basically just end up with a stack like this. I guess I could have taken these out ahead of time as well, but leave it to me to not think ahead. Now I'm hoping that uh, the same will be true with these rack packs as it was with the Gypsy Clean rack packs and we get some much better cards because these were the same as these rack packs cost the same amount as the Gypsy Clean rack packs did. They cost 10 bucks, I think it was 9.48 again, which might as well be 10 bucks. Uh, you might run into a problem like this where the top pack in this package was heat sealed in with the top seam. You can see that I just cut the top of this pack off and almost all of this seam has the top of the pack, the top of that wrapper. Oh, wait, hold on. It'd be the white part down here. This is the top of the wrapper. That's still a pretty good portion of the wrapper in the heat seal there. And I do not believe that I can get that pack out of there until I cut the entire seam off of there. Which, it does actually start to get kind of dangerous to do that. Because then you're risking cutting cards. So be careful with those. Maybe even check those at the store before you get them. Make sure nothing is... Make sure none of those packs are melted into the top seal there. It looks like it's going to be relatively common process if I got one out of four four rack packs one of them was, was melted at the top might be pretty common as you guys know I like to save my packs but I don't think it's gonna really do me any good to save rack packs that I just cut in half but I do like to save the uh, numbers and I did do some checking refocus this. Between videos I uh, took a quick read and I believe these black border cards here with the uh, flags behind the players I believe those are Bowman International cards. Not positive on that but they do come one uh, one out of every eight packs so pulling two of them would fit uh, that number pull being that they were one from each blaster because there's eight packs in each blaster. Notice that this pack that I just opened from the rack pack is a white glossy white uh, wrapper and this is silver from the blaster boxes so that's how you can differentiate another way to differentiate the packaging style so there may be different packaging rates so starting with this Matt Kane card you guys can monitor if I get different styles of cards or different amounts of certain sub subjects of these cards here like uh, base cards prospect cards chrome you guys can monitor that stuff by going back and forth and looking at the video. Matt Cain and Michael Kadire are the two base cards in front. Drew Hutchison 
and Xander Bogertz are the two chrome cards. Alex Rodriguez is gold, and Adam Lind is orange, which is actually quite disappointing because I believe Adam Lind just got option to AAA and may have been picked up on waivers. He's numbered 217 out of 250. I do have a Blue Jays fan, a couple of Blue Jays fans in Canada that might uh, appreciate those cards, but not too, not too thrilled about the two orange cards that I got here. Cole Hamels, who just hit Bryce Harper, and Adam Lind, who isn't even a Blue Jay anymore. So, quite disappointing with the orange there. Anthony Fernandez, Paul Hoylman, Buster Posey, and Jordan Pacheco, or Pacheco, are the final four cards. Well, that pack didn't open up very well. I just shredded that. Adrian Gonzalez, Liam Hendricks, Dustin Ackley are three regular white border cards. Mike Murray and Andrew Susak or Sussex are the two chrome. And Steven Strasburg is the gold card. That might interest somebody. Um, sounds like Morgan is unhappy in the background here. Morgan and her mama just got back from a walk in the, with the stroller. Tyler Collins. Nick Delmonico. Irvin Santana. And Scott Rowland. Finish out that pack. Ian Kinsler. Matt Kemp, who was doing fantastically until he just got hurt. Tyler Gagnon, Paul Hoylman, two chrome cards. BJ Upton is gold. Tim Crab, Silver Ice, Prospect. Luis Angel Sons, Greg Billow. Justin Upton and Bud Norris are the final four cards in that pack. Here's the pack that we had to cut the top off of to get it out of there. Cole Hamels and Paul Goldschmidt. Dylan Maples and Kess Carter chrome cards. Tommy Hansen gold. Greg Billow prospects. However, I don't know if it's international or not. I guess I'll find that stuff out as I go along. Because I know I saw a Greg Billow card before, but I don't know if it had a flag in the background. I don't remember seeing a flag in the background. I will figure it out eventually. That's it right there. Wow. I just happened to flip right to it. So there must be something different about these two cards. So I'm guessing the, the one with the flag um, uh, would be international, just white border, because it's prospect. The ones that came black border were established players already. So we already did handles. Noah Perio, or Perio, David Medina, Michael Young, and Alex Gordon. Finish out that one. Eight packs left. Giovanni Gallardo, R.A. Dickey, Starlin Castro, Zach Walters and Josh Edgen, two chrome cards, Matt Holiday Gold, Emilio King, Diane Diaz, Josh Johnson, and Giancarlo Stanton again. Greg Kimbrell, Derek Holland, Corey Hart, uh, Jacob Anderson, and Tim Crabb are the two chrome cards. Pablo Sandoval, gold, and I believe that's gold again. I believe the second one I pulled was Pablo, and it was. So that's two Pablo Sandoval golds that I have.
Really? This kid's name is Rookie? How ironic is that? And who names their kid Rookie? Rookie Davis. Of course, for the Yankees. Rookie Davis. Why would you name your kid a Rookie? J.R. Graham, Jordan Pacheco, and Mark Teixeira. And that's no offense to uh, Rookie Davis either. It's surely not. I just didn't... I just find it so ironic that someone named their kid Rookie and he ends up becoming a baseball rookie with a rookie card. I just can't even uh, fathom the irony there. Michael Morse, D. Gordon, Josh Edgen, and I think I just got Edgen a minute ago. I did. Josh Edgen, Edgen and Todd McGinnis, Pedro Alvarez Gold, Giovanni Soto Silver Ice, filled up Wonder Philip Wonderlich. Luis Heredia, Heredia, Kobe Rasmus, and Matt Latos. David Fries, Johnny Cueto, Danny Barnes, and Michael Gonzalez. Two chrome cards, Azdrubal Cabrera Gold, Nick Marcakis Blue. Numbered out of 500, number 140 out of 500. There's your gold number up there reflecting in the light. And there's your front. Nick Marcakis blue. The blue ones actually occur more often or roughly the same as the orange. No, blue occurs twice as often. Blue borders are 1 out of 29 packs and orange are 1 out of 58 packs and I've got two orange which are harder to pull. So figure that one out. Jonathan Galvez, Chesler Cuthbert, Neftali Feliz, and Gio Gonzalez. Four more packs, and then the three, then the four packs of uh, purple border, purple prospects. Dustin Ackley, Matt Kane to base, Matt Perk, and Dan Holson. Chrome, Lance Berkman Gold, Jim Bunning question, Tops Pennant card. I got five white ones back here now. Francisco Lindor, Brenny Paulino, Billy Butler, Justin Verlander, and David Wright. Remember, for those of you who are counting, counting cards or keeping track of what I have, the base and the prospect, uh, regular base and prospect base are both in that stack. I will sort them out later. Nigel Morgan, Yadier Molina, Dellen Bettences. Baton says, Julio Rodriguez and Brandon Jacobs, Yadier Molina Gold, Casey Herther, Hi Arthur, Danny Holson, Casey Kochman, and Matt Garza. Madison Bumgarner, Jeremy Hellickson, Ubaldo Jimenez. Claudio Cast Sorry about that, guys. The camera cut itself off again at uh, roughly 13 and a half minutes or so. Every it, it shuts itself off. I don't know why. Almost 14 minutes. And just makes itself a different video. A uh, different uh, file there so it doesn't overload itself and get too hot. I can feel that the camera's getting kind of hot. Claudio Custodio was the chrome card that I was reading when the camera cut it off. Dellen, I realized I only got one chrome card there. I noticed that, and I know why. I, I noticed immediately why after. After behind Dellen Batanza's gold rookie card is what appears to be a Bowman Best gold Bubba Starling. It's not a refractor. It's just regular chrome style. But we will uh, we'll figure more information. We'll get more information about that, and it'll be in the store that way once I figure everything out. And I just put these over there without reading them because I actually read them already once and didn't realize the camera shut off. Mario Yepes, Zach Walters, Jared Parker, and Tyler Pasternicki rookie card. Last pack. Brennan Bosch, Pedro Alvarez, and Azdrubal Cabrera regular. 
Jeff Malm, and Raphael Ortega Chrome. Yoenis Cespedes rookie card gold. Bet there's a couple people that would want that. Andrew Susak, Eddie Rosario, Troy Tulowitzki, and Neil Walker finish out the regular packs. Let's see if we pulled any good purple ones. Should be 12 purple ones by the time we're done here. Oh, Morgan's not happy right now. Diane Diaz, Emilio King, David Medina. The first three purples. We'll throw them right there in the middle since it's the end of the video. Drew Hutchison, Ian Gag, Gack, Ian Gack, and Tim Crab. Raul Alcantara, Anthony Fernandez, Nick Nomonaco. I'm assuming they're not numbered, and they're not. It's common as they're going to be. Whenever you guys see this Tyler Collins card, you see that white dot over there that's just kind of hanging around under his hand. You may or may not be able to see it. Yeah, I can see it in the TV screen behind the camera here. That, that dot right there is, uh, is on his regular base card as well, so it's just on the it's just on, I got somebody call at my phone. It's, it's just something in the photo. There's nothing you can do about it. It's not a spot on the card. Greg Billow and Luis Angel Sands. That rounds out 2012 Bowman. Two blasters. And uh, four rack packs. See you guys later.